Excel 2013 and 2016, Creating an Accessible Excel Spreadsheet, Part 2. Introduction. If you haven't already viewed Excel 2013 and 2016, Creating an Accessible Excel Spreadsheet Part 1, you'll want to check it out to ensure you're doing everything you can to make your Excel tables and spreadsheets accessible. In that module, we described a lot of good general practices in Excel that also improve accessibility. In this module, we go further with more tips, most of which are specifically for assistive technology screen readers like JAWS. Note. For making forms in Excel accessible, see Excel 2013 and 2016 Creating Accessible Forms Parts 1 and 2 in addition to ensuring your form has covered the accessibility considerations in these two modules for spreadsheets. Further Steps to Assist with Screen Readers in Excel Screen Reader Help Text in Cell A1 Provide help text for navigation using screen readers in Cell A1. For example, press Tab to move to input areas, press up or down arrow in column A to read through the document. You can make this text fairly small or even change the color to match the background color. This way it will not show up visually but will still be read by the screen reader. Table titles. Table titles should be placed in the first column so screen readers can find them easily as discussed in the previous module. If that looks funny, you can merge cells and center them, but keep the original text in the first column. Images. Ensure that any images have alternate text descriptions. Follow the steps below or use the method for charts that we'll discuss next. Insert the image, then right-click and choose Size and Properties. In the Size and Properties dialog box, choose the Alt Text tab. Type in a brief description with enough detail to explain the pictures. You don't need to say image of or picture of because the screen reader alerts the reader that it is an image. Click Close. Charts. Ensure that any charts have alternative text descriptions. This is different than images since charts created in Excel don't have an area for alt text. Here's how to do it. Resize the row where you want to insert the chart. You may merge cells if you want. Insert the chart. In the cell where the chart is, type the description. This description may need to be fairly long to adequately explain the chart. Hide the text of the description by changing the text color to match the background. Now when a screen reader comes across the cell containing this chart, it will read the text description. Avoid blank rows and columns within a table. Resize your rows and columns to give them spacing that helps make the table readable rather than using blanks to create your spacing. One really common mistake is leaving column A blank to look like a margin. Also, if you have two or more tables on the same worksheet, leave a single blank row between each table. You can resize the blank row to create a space that is visually appealing. Merged cells. It's okay to have merged cells and titles, but not in the data part of the table. End of worksheet. Type end of worksheet in the row immediately after the last row of your table. Defining the title region, a very important step. One final advanced step is defining the title region, which is a little bit of code that lets the screen reader know to repeat the row and column titles when reading the data. We'll walk through that together. First, a little how a screen reader reads a table. The default for a screen reader in English is to read starting at the top and going left to right. When it gets to the end of a line, it goes to the next line down and reads again from left to right. 
Now imagine a screen reader reading this table. Without some help from you, the screen reader reads it like a book. After the title, it will read Type January, February, March, April, etc. Then it will go on to the next line and read Sci Fi 4, 3, 3, 2, 5, 6, and so on. As sighted readers, we're constantly referring back to the row and column headers to see what the numbers refer to. Visually impaired users need those references too. What we need is for the screen reader to read this way Sci Fi, January 4, February 3, March 3, and so on. In other words, the screen reader should repeat the column header each time before it reads the value. The good news is that screen readers are smart enough to do that. We just have to tell them how our table is set up and how to read it. In our example, we'll just use a standard table with several columns and several rows. Before we get going, we need to know three things about our table. Is this the first or only table on this worksheet? What are the addresses on the top left and bottom right cells in your table? Is this worksheet the first or only worksheet in this workbook? Here's how we do it. 1. To get started, select the top left cell in your table. Don't count the titles, but you do count all row and column headers as part of your table. 2. Go to the Formulas tab in the ribbon and choose Name Manager in the Defined Names group. Choose New in the top left corner. A new dialog box opens. In the name field, we're going to type a fairly complicated name. 3. Type Title Region, then put a 1 if this is the first table on your worksheet, then a period, then the range of cells in your table from top left to bottom right with a period in between, then another period, then the worksheet number. So in this case, our title code looks like this. Title Region 1.a2.g7.2. You can ignore all the other fields in this dialog box. Click OK and close. That's it. You've just given JAWS the instructions for how to properly read the table so the listener can easily understand it. 4. If your table only has one column header, define a column title region instead of a title region. If your table only has one row header, define a row title region. The rest of the coding is the same. Five, finally, if you create these titles and then make a simple change, such as moving your worksheet tabs around or adding an extra row, you'll have to recode the titles to match your spreadsheet's new reality. So save this step for when you're ready to publish. Six, if you do need to edit these names, go back to the Name Manager, select the name you wish to edit, and choose the Edit button. To summarize, we've discussed providing keystroke navigation instructions at the beginning of your document, keeping table titles in the first column, providing alternative text for images and charts, avoiding blank rows and columns, typing End of Worksheet at the bottom, Defining the title region. If you follow the steps in Excel 2013 and 2016, creating an accessible Excel spreadsheet part one and this module, you will have an Excel spreadsheet that will be easy to understand and also will be accessible to just about anyone, including those using assistive technologies. If you are creating a form in Excel, be sure to check out the next two modules, Excel 2013 and 2016, Creating Accessible Forms Parts 1 and 2.